That's all, folks. Hey, cyberpunks and retro nerds, it's Tommy the Hammer. Today I thought we would discuss the mid-90s Super Nintendo game, Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. And I think this is a perfect choice, considering it's the month of October. Mm -hmm. This looks like a perfectly splendid place to spend, to spend the night, doesn't it, Sylvester? It, it's so quaint and, uh, 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 picturesque. I haven't played it in quite some time, not since I was a teenager, and I recall it being a lot of fun and very colorful, so I can't wait to check it out again. So without further ado, guys, let's get right to the game and drink some beers. At all times when I'm flipping, bar sipping, car dipping, Grant Wood grain gripping, still tipping on still foes, tipping on foes, wrapping foes, wrapping foes, wrapping foes, hoping no hacking, and no hacking, so blowing on that endo, GameCube, Nintendo, five percent tint, so you can't see up in my window. These niggas don't understand me, cause I'm boss hog on candy, top down at Maxis with a big Glock nine handy, pieced up, creased up, stand dressed to impress. I read some less than favorable uh, reviews of this game online not too long ago, and a lot of people complained that the game was too easy, that some aspects of the controls were a little clunky, and that the game just kind of felt disjointed overall. Well, you know what? A lot of those observations are true. I would have to agree with them. However, um, you know, I happen to like this game, and the main reason uh, for that is because the character design and the animation design and the overall style is much akin, if not a direct inspiration from the animation of Chuck Jones in the early Looney Tunes episodes. And, you know, I've always loved Chuck Jones' work, everything from what he did on the Looney Tunes to Tom and Jerry to the Dr. Seuss cartoons, he's always had a very distinct style, and I feel like that's what the creators of this game were going for. Uh, they wanted sprites and colors and level sequences that felt like Chuck Jones cartoons. And some of the complaints that the game was too easy, I would have to disagree. There's a lot of parts in this game that I thought were frustrating and difficult, but not to the point of where I wanted to give up. Um, there was just enough resistance to make me come back and play another round or another life, um, but then it wasn't to the point of where I would get frustrated and just turn the system off directly. So with that being said, guys, um, this game's perfect for me. If you're a fan of Looney Tunes, if you like Porky Pig, and you dig Chuck Jones' art style, then you guys probably owe it to yourself to check this game out, especially... Uh, if you're a retro gamer looking to beef up their SNES collection. And out of 10 stars, you know, for me, I gotta give it a 7. And some people might disagree with me on that, but you know what? It ain't for them. 